Good evening, everybody. So today is my third and my last day in uh, Bodh Gaya. But in Bodh Gaya, there are so many different temples from different cultures, different countries, that I wanted to visit each and every one of them and show you how international the city of Bodh Gaya is. So the first one that I'm here right now is is a Tibetan temple right over here. Okay, so this is the Tibetan temple right here. So these, during the ancient Tibetan times, when the illiteracy was very high, the people could not read books. So instead of reading books, if you rotate the Dharam Chakra once, it was considered that you read the book. Okay. So I'm also rotating this big Dharam Chakra, and then I'll be considered to have read the <laughs> book of Tibetan teachings. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys, have fun! This is the second floor of the Tibetan uh, temple here. So as you can see over here, we have uh, Dalai Lama with uh, Lord Buddha right behind it. And yeah, so this is the Tibetan representation of uh, Buddhism. Okay, so I've finished uh, touring the Tibetan uh, temple here. But right beside the Tibetan temple, there is another Sri Lankan temple. So I'll be going there and seeing how Sri Lankan Buddhism is represented. This is the Sri Lankan uh, Buddhist temple in Bodh Gaya. As you can see inside over here. This is the Sri Lankan representation of Buddhism. There is another statue of Lord Buddha. And then uh, there are memorial halls and also stay for visitors. Okay, so I'm done with Sri Lankan temple. I can now maybe move on to the next temple. Okay, this right over here is the Chinese temple over here. So we also have Chinese temple here in Bodh Gaya. Just go have a look at the Buddha in the Chinese temple. The Chinese Bud Buddhism is a bit different from the Sri Lankan and the Tibetan Buddhism that we saw recently. But in these kind of temples, there are usually not many uh, things to see except the temple itself. Now I'll be moving to the next uh, destination. On the entrance to the Bangladeshi Buddhist Monastery. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're from Korea? I'm from South Korea. <laughs> Just taking a video of different like temples on ah, okay no problem yeah. uh, so so the Bangladeshi uh, monastery as you can see is very different it uh, looks like a contemporary building un unlike other ones where it's more like a traditional building yes sir uh, <laughs> Johnny, 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 how are you? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So most of the temples here, they are donation based. So you can choose to stay there for free, and then you can choose how much you want to pay them after you stay. Royal Bhutanese Monastery. Wow. Look at the beauty. This is how the Bhutanese representation of Buddhism. As you can see here, there is a portrait of the king, king of Bhutan. Next destination is uh, Japanese. If you ever come to in India, please try this lassi. It's the best thing. This is the Japanese temple. So the Buddhism in Japanese spread through Korean Peninsula from China to Korean Peninsula to Japan. So there is a lot of similarities between the Japanese uh, Buddhism and Korean Buddhism. The representation of Buddhism in Japan is very similar to that of Korea. 
we are at the Mongolian temple right now and as you can see the Mongolian temple but uh, unfortunately we have construction going on here as you can see it's very very beautiful so I'll be heading to the next destination So right now I'm inside the 80 feet Buddha statue. Okay, so I'm out of the 80 feet Buddha temple. And right beside, there is a Cambodian temple as well. This is the Cambodian monastery in Bodh Gaya. Yeah, if you have a look at it. It's very similar to the temple that I used to see in Thailand. Yeah. But it's uh, it looks very beautiful. Right? So I'm out of the Cambodian uh, monastery. Now I'm headed to, supposedly there is a Korean uh, temple too. So I'm going there right now. This is the Korean temple. Welcome to Korean Temple, Hanguk Buddhist Society. But there's nothing inside. And also it's closed. Right, so I guess the Korean Temple doesn't really exist. Very disappointing man, I walked like 30 minutes to get here. Anyway, so last, I need to go to the Thai Temple. And then we can call it off. So, finally arrived at the Thai temple. So, so it is uh, right now 6-2. And this thing closes at 6. Okay. So... The temples from all these different nationalities, they are sponsored by their own countries. So the Thai temple here is sponsored by the Thai government. The Japanese temple is sponsored by the Japanese government. But I think the most impressive one was the Thai temple. Just uh, the sheer magnitude was very big. And also it uh, kind of uh, looked original, the most original. I mean, every one of them looked original, but it looked the most original. Yeah, anyways. I'm done with my uh, hello. I'm, I'm done with my uh, temple tour around Bodh Gaya. It's time for me to have dinner. Right. Veg, cheese, momo, vegetables inside, and also cheese. Thank you guys for watching my video once again. Uh, next destination is Varanasi.